Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Knoll Reviews, and today we are reviewing the spicy quarter pounder with cheese. Now, first thing to state, made no modifications to this, I've ordered it just as it is on the menu, haven't doubled up, which is a very hard thing to do, because uh, if you may not know this, if you use the My McDonald's app, which you can download from all the popular app stores, uh, you can do things like upgrade to an additional patty on your spicy double quarter pounder with cheese for just one pound, which is, is fantastic. Um, so what we've done today is we've gone for the spicy double, spicy single quarter pounder with cheese. Uh, fries, so let's just have a quick look at the box, just there, and a Coke, because it's night time. So just to get some practicalities out of the way, uh, this was ordered through the My McDonald's app, uh, and this run us £5.43 for a large meal with a large uh, normal Coke. Um, we did have to pay the uh, sugar tax, uh, so that added an additional, I think it was 14 pence to the bill. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So what do we get in the bag? Well, let's have a quick look at what we get. So get the spicy quarter pounder just there with cheese. Um, and just to open the box up there and have a quick look inside, as you can see, uh, you get the quarter pounder um, and you get the various, this hasn't worked at all, but basically you get the spicy uh, pepper jack cheese. Uh, doing these in the dark in the car is a new idea for me. I'm not sure this is working, but I don't care. I'll post it anyway. There are a lot of people wondering why I'm talking to myself in a Morrison's which closed some time ago. Yes. So let's get started, give it a go. Let's start off with the fries, give you a quick review on the fries. So... Mm. A little on the cold side. But, but bearable. Yeah. Certainly bearable. So let's get to the star of the show. Let's get to the actual quarter pounder with cheese spicy edition. So it certainly smells spicy, and there's jalapenos coming out the side. That's quite good because that obviously replaces the pickles. Very nice. Um, I, I do have a question um, regarding the aesthetic quality just at the edge of the sandwich there, um, with some overlap on the burger. Now that may have happened in transit as the vehicle moved, um, but it. it all the same, you know, I, I expect my burger to stay uh, within the core of the circular format of the, the burger patty. There is only one burger patty, uh, and there are two slices of cheese, there's one above and one below. Very nice. I'm not sure if I was supposed to get that, but I'm certainly not going to go and take one slice of cheese back, um, however honest a person I may be. Um, so, to start with, bonus onion. Yes, it tastes like an onion. Hmm, a bit spicy, but then again, onion is generally a bit spicy, so... There's anything special about the onion. Let's give it a go. So say smells spicy. Hmm. Okay, so let's get one thing cleared up from the off, whilst we have some bonus fries. This burger isn't particularly spicy, actually. Um, it's just got a bit of a kick. I actually quite like it. Um, I didn't think I would like this one, uh, and I'll be honest with you, I'm doing this for... You know who I'm doing this for. Um, you've requested it from me several times, so thank you for that. You forced me to come here and buy it, um, and your 6 out of 10 review um, for this particular sandwich drove me to, to do this. Um, yeah, so it's it's quite nice. I quite like it. I thought I wouldn't like this one. Yes, even though I do look quite like hot food, this this is, is really, really nice. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to finish this off, finish the fries off, uh, and then I will get back to you uh, shortly. So, I'll probably speed this bit up. So, you will note that I'm actually unable to speed up this part of the video any more than eight times, uh, because I'm too tight to pay for video editing software. So, uh, whilst we are there, let's talk about something just to pass the time. Um, so, you know, occasionally in the UK, uh, if you drive um, past some of those really old-fashioned looking road signs with little grid patterns underneath, um, to road enthusiasts, they're known as pre-war boys road signs, um, because... Yep, yeah, that's quite enough of that, I think. So, on my rating scale, what am I going to say about this? Well, face mask. Well, um, I'm going to say that... 
for the value for money, fantastic. Um, this was actually a really, really nice burger, uh, and I would be sure to, to purchase this again. Um, there are some misgivings that people have had about the spiciness, uh, and it's not just the one person that, that I've heard that from. Um, but I'll be honest with you, it wasn't that spicy. Um, there was obviously the uh, the cheese had a bit of spice in it, the sauce had a bit of spice in it, but it certainly wasn't um, overpowering, and I would without doubt buy this again. So... Getting down to business. Coke is absolutely fine as normal. Uh, on my rating scale, uh, this is going to be uh, another um, 4.5 4 out of 5, I think. Um, I may need to actually revise my rating scale because everything seems to be 4.5 out of 5. Um, but this was a really nice burger and I didn't expect it to be. So for the extra bit of surprise, it probably goes slightly above that If it, in, in reality. Um, really nice burger. Would I order it every time? Uh, no, I probably wouldn't. And I must admit, the next time I do it, I probably have a double, quarter, double spicy quarter pounder with cheese just because you can. Um, but would I order it again? For sure I would order it again, uh, and I will be before the uh, end of the promotion. Um, will I cry when the promotion ends and I can no longer order it? Yes. Yes, I will. Thank you. See you on the next one. Um, and, yep, yeah, top keck to you all.